Describing functions. So when we're describing functions, we look at the two variables involved. So we have an independent variable and a dependent variable. So we're going to compare them here. Independent variable is the value that is not determined by another variable. So it's independent of anything else. This value, though, determines the value of an independent value. So it's also going to be the one on the x-axis. So often the independent variable is what I'm choosing. So for example, if I want to know how many hours I worked, I can decide, well, I worked five hours. Well, that's my independent variable. How much I get paid depends on how many hours I work. X-axis and Y-axis, that's just a quick review on a little um, grid here. X would be the horizontal axis, Y is the vertical axis. Your dependent variable is the value, the value is determined by the value of the independent variable. So again, it's going to depend on what the independent variable is. Independent variable, sometimes called the input, dependent variable could be the output. It's going to be on the Y-axis or your vertical axis. So this value depends on the independent variable. Okay, let's look at this example one here. In the workplace, a person's gross pay, P dollars, often depends on the number of hours worked. So our variables are P and H rather than X and Y. So in this column here, this is our independent variable. So you always put your independent variable in your first column. That's always going to represent your domain. So if I work one hour, I get paid $12. If I work two hours, I get paid $24. So the pay depends on how many hours I work. It's your dependent variable. It's going to tell me the range. So the independent values are always in the first column of the table and are in the domain. The dependent values are always in the second column of the table and are in are the range.